All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Full Range Media. I am your host, Most Valuable Pad, and I'm here with a uh, video of Star Wars Battlefront 2. And I don't really want to focus too much on the gameplay in this video. I kind of want to focus on something a little bit different today. So, what I am going to do is talk to you a little bit about Star Wars, The Last Jedi. It's coming out in just a couple weeks, and everybody, including myself, is excited. Very, very excited to try to go, to go and see this movie. And I've been online the last couple of weeks reading multiple fan theories on what people think are going to happen, and two of them really kind of got me and really made didn't make sense, but it really struck me as like, holy shit, that'd be cool if something like this happened. So I kind of want to read a couple of these to you, and I also wanted to share some of my fan theories at the end of the, at the end of the video after I read what these are. And maybe you guys can put down in the comment section what you guys think would happen in this in these movies and some of your fan theories also that I wouldn't mind reading. Um, I got two fan theories here, and the reason why I picked these two fan theories is because I think they would really go well together. If both of these things actually happened, I think they would go very well together, which is why I picked these two things. One of them is kind of an old one, um, which I'll read first, and the other one is kind of a newer one, so... Um, a lot of people might have heard of the first one before, but maybe not a lot of people heard of the, of the, of the next one that I'm going to talk about. So I do want to stress that these are not my fan theories. These are for, from other sites, which you can read down in the description where I found these sites or found these theories. And the first one comes from BuzzFeed.com. And this is from a uh, blogger in Brazil whose dad is a really big, ginormous Star Wars fan. And this is right after he came out of watching Force Awakens back in 2015. So like I said, it's kind of an old one. So this is what this dad, his theory of what's going to happen in Star Wars is going to be. Okay, He says, what if Kylo Ren chose to go to the dark side so he can help the light side? And he says, he, what if he went to the dark side just so he can kill Snoke? And that's why he's so conflicted. That's why he feels the temptation of the light side stronger than the dark. Um, he said he thinks that Kylo Ren is just trying to th just trying to finish what Anakin Skywalker was trying to do before he was seduced by the dark side, which is why Kylo Ren is also talking to Darth Vader's helmet. It also explains what happens toward the end of Force Awakens when Han Solo finally faces Kylo Ren inside the Star Killer base. That the conversation that those two had actually had a lot more subtext than you might think. Kylo was literally t trying to confess what he was doing. He had to completely turn away from his family in order to do that. To become a Sith fully and completely, you have to sacrifice someone you love to death. And in this case, it was Han. That's why he tells Han he feels like he's being torn apart inside, because he doesn't want to do it at all. But it's the only possible way to become a Sith and to complete his task. Kylo literally utters the words, will you help me, to Han, and Han says, yeah, anything you need. What he's asking for is if Han will die in order for him to complete his task. Which is also why Kylo Ren seems to be interested in Rey. If they team up, they'll, they'll literally be the dark side and the light side of the Force. Kylo Ren is trying to be a Sith so he can team up with the Jedi. They live side by side, and it, in, in it, that's why he's so conflicted all the time. That's why his fight style is like a Sith at all. They're always saying that the dark side and the light side are together in the Force. They need the personification of both sides in order to be strong enough to destroy Snoke. He literally has to become a Sith to join forces with the Jedi. Because the light in him is so much stronger than, than the dark, and he has to get rid of it in order for him to do what he needed to do to save the galaxy with Rey and Luke. It would mean that the Jedi Order, that Luke's Jedi Order massacre has been, might have been staged as well. He needs the map to Luke so he can keep the First Order from finding him. And that Rey is actually hidden in, on Jakku so Snoke would think he died, that she died in the massacre. Not only does it make an awful lot of sense, but it would also mean that Han Solo didn't get killed off for no reason. You know how a lot of people are saying, oh, but it looks like so much like Episode 4? Well, yeah, that's the point, because it's supposed to be, because the path they're taking is going to be completely different. Episode 7 was literally just an introduction. This is Star Wars we're talking about, about, and it's a plot twist like, a plot twist like this is mandatory. We're not getting remakes of the original tr trilogy. I think it's awesome that if, if that's the reason it's the only possible good explanation in my head. Why someone that has Leia as his mother, Han as his father, and Luke as his uncle would turn to the dark side. Han dying wouldn't be for nothing, and he literally died so his family could finish saving the galaxy. 
Ray, Kylo, Luke, Leia, Finn, and Poe are are going to destroy the last Sith together and bring balance to the Force. That was a freaking cool theory. You know what I mean? And this guy is a decent Star Wars fan, too. He knows his stuff, and it's a pretty good theory if you think about it. And it means that Han Solo didn't die for nothing, which is the other cool part. You can't have a main character like Han Solo die for absolutely no reason at all. Um, so that's a great theory. And the other theory comes from Dorkly.com, and this focuses more on uh, Snoke being the last, the last Jedi. And ever since the Last Jedi title came out, fans have been kind of, you know, debating on what that title actually means. Well, this person says that the that this is a Reddit user named Anakin Kardashian. The last part of The Last Jedi might be of the utmost importance. Ultimately, it may prove that the title character isn't one of the heroes, but in fact, Supreme Leader Snoke. Kylo Ren's disfigured mentor last seen in a suspiciously huge hologram. I know it sounds like a stretch now, but bear with me. There's some interesting connections that might tie up the Force Awakens' numerous dangling, dangling plot threads. It all hinges on how everyone in the recent Star Wars stories have all have shown an interest in old Jedi junk. By now, you've probably seen Rogue One, which features a sacred Jedi temple being stripped for lightsaber crystals by the Empire. And decades later in the saga, we hear that Luke has been on a similar hunt. Fans also often compare Luke's self-banishment to Yoda, who exiled himself on Dagobah after being defeated by Palpatine. But the big difference here is that Luke supposedly went on a quest of discovery after his failure at, failure at the Jedi Academy, a quest that involves seeking out the origins of the Last Jedi. But why? What's going to help him? What doesn't he know that, can, that can't be gleaned by a quick phone call with the ghost Obi-Wan? It may not be a coincidence that Luke is searching for the archaic knowledge in the wake of Supreme Leader Snoke's descendants. After all, there are a few things that point to Snoke being one of the galaxy's oldest living residents. Take Kylo Ren's lightsaber, for, for example. He didn't come up with that silly hill all by himself. If he were to do his own lightsaber, he probably would have remade Vader's. An official display revealed that Kylo Ren's lightsaber is recently constructed, constructed, but the actual design itself has been around for a while. This ancient design was presumably taught by Kylo through his mentor Snoke, who seems like he's pretty ancient himself. And in the official novelization of Force Awakens, this is what Snoke says. Kylo Ren, I watched the Galactic Empire rise and then fall. The gullible prattle on about the triumph of truth and justice and of individualism and free will, as if such things were solid and real instead of simple subjective judgments. The historians have it all wrong. It was neither poor strategy nor arrogance that brought down the Empire. You know too well what did. What that means, I have absolutely no idea. Why Snoke has only reappeared now is another matter altogether. The fact remains that the guy was chilling in the background for an untold amount of time watching events of both in the distance. If the theory is correct, Luke's quest to discover more about the origins of the Jedi may actually be a quest to discover the origins of Snoke. This is where it's important to reconsider the last and the last Jedi really means. As Anakin Kardashian continues to write, If we were learning about early Jedi because we're going to find out how different the ancient Jedi Order was, what if what we know about the Jedi are not really Jedi after all? What if Snoke was, is the last Jedi in its original form? Just like Jedi can mean one or multiple force wielders, last can mean final, meaning that the title might not be referring to the final Jedi, but instead, the previous order of people that call themselves Jedi. Might Snoke and the Knights of Ren represent a return to the old ways of Jedi not seen for thousands of years? We'll find out on December 15th. So that's the other theory that really kind of got to me a little bit. What if Snoke was the last Jedi? Very cool, right? So those are the two theories that I kind of that I kind of liked and... I'm hoping that when I leave The Last Jedi, that everybody else, including myself, is just going to be like, wow, that was cool. You know what I mean? I, you need to have something that's like, holy shit, this was a great ending, a great story, and I'm really excited to see what happens to the next one. Um, a few of the theories that I have, I only have a couple. One of them is I want Rey to be a Kenobi. I think that'd be great if Rey was a Kenobi, by the way. The other one is the name the First Order. The Jedi, when they were around, were called the Jedi Order. 
Okay, and this kind of goes into the theory that I was just talking about, about Snoke being the last Jedi. Why are they called the First Order? Snoke obviously runs this particular order, so why are they called the First Order? Can it be because Snoke ran the very first Jedi Order? And this is the reason why they are named the First Order? Except they're not called the First Jedi Order, they're just called the First Order. I don't know, man, that seems pretty cool. So, you know, those are a couple of my theories. I don't know if, uh, if you know, they make any sense or anything like that, but that's just kind of my theory. But that's going to do it for the for this video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it a lot. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment down in on, in the comment section below, letting us know what you think of these theories and what a couple of your theories are. And please don't forget to check us out on twitch.tv slash fullrangemedia, where I'll be streaming multiple games for pretty much every day. And you can also check out youtube.com slash fullrangemedia, where Neptune will be streaming a lot. So, check us out. Please don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Everybody have a great day, and may the force be with you.